The Three Million Lives Initiative is a joint initiative between the Department of Health and the Telecare and Telehealth industry. The initiative is committed to supporting up to three million people who have long-term conditions with Telecare and Telehealth over the next three to five years. It was launched on the back of the whole system demonstrator, which showed significant reductions in patient mortality, 45% uh, reductions for those patients in the group that had Telehealth. It also showed significant reductions in emergency admissions. Um, and and elective admissions. We also know that the patients and carers that use telehealth, uh, it significantly improves their quality of life. And one of the key um, aspects of this is to try and ensure that we can support the NHS, the, our clinician colleagues, and patients and users to understand the benefits that telecare and telehealth can bring to people with long-term conditions. We know that patients don't like keep going into hospital, in and out of hospital. We know that they want to stay well in the community. And using telehealth and telecare, we can support them to do that. Telehealth is a new way of working. Uh, I'm working as a GP in a population of 700,000 as a county. Uh, our practice, we've got 17,000 patients, of whom uh, 15 to 20 are currently on a telehealth scheme. Across the whole county, we have about 700 patients who are involved in telehealth. Long-term conditions affect lots of people, they will have those conditions for the rest of their lives. Um, it's helping us as health clinicians to prioritise our time, to work differently, to use our clinical skills differently uh, and therefore to benefit the patients in the longer term. Sally Health was suggested to me by my doctor and uh, it sounded worthwhile and so I took it, uh, took it on face value and had a go and uh, I found it well, well worthwhile. Your weight is 100.5 kilograms. The machine talks to me, it tells me what to do, it tells me I've d done the test all right. End of story. It's, it's just the same as having a, a nurse at the end of the bed asking you questions, except you've been asked by a, a machine. As doctors, we are trained in medical school, we work in clinical practice, both in hospitals and out in the community, to work in particular ways, and we gain confidence in working in those particular ways. When all of a sudden you start doing things differently, possibly using telehealth as a way of doing that, you need to gain confidence yourself as a clinician that what you're doing is in the patient's best interest, and that takes time. And as the clinician gets used to working with the equipment, so they gain more confidence in it, which benefits the patients. You do things more efficiently, you work more efficiently with your colleagues, the district nurses and so on, and that is to everyone's best interest. It also means that the patient's treatment is able to be started earlier so that they're feeling better quicker, which is obviously important, um, and it means that they can get on, live their lives the way that they want to. They gain more confidence in terms of how they are functioning with this long-term condition and they need to, they can take advantage of the fact that they're feeling better and the equipment's telling them they're better rather than worrying about how short of breath they might be later on in the day. So I think lots of people do benefit from that point of view. This year, um, 100 patients uh, with COPD are being monitored uh, with telehealth on a daily basis and so far we've managed to avoid something like 25 to 30 admissions to hospital because we've headed off trouble before it became a problem. This obviously is a huge benefit to the patients. Uh, it, it proves that the care has improved and also has reduced total NH expenditure significantly. This new system come up which was a telehealth iPad and I'm lucky enough I managed to get onto that one and I think it's over a two year period the, the same scheme is, but it is a fantastic system that has stopped me going in hospital, I would say at least five times. Um, you program your numbers in every day, you set your um, program out, you fill in every day, and then all of a sudden you get a phone call if they're not happy, asking you how you feel, what's wrong, um, I think you should be taking your medicines now. Um, take, start your antibiotics, start your steroids and get in contact with your doctor straight away. The response from patients has been uh, marvellous. Not only have they ad adapted to the technology very quickly, but they feel safer, more secure that their diseases are being monitored on a daily basis. And they form very close relationships at a distance with a specialist nurse who's become their nurse for their disease. And they feel very comforted by that. A few years ago, one patient's experience was particularly poignant when he was giving evidence to the SHA at the time, saying that telehealth had uh, prevented him from dying. He was absolutely right. We stopped him going to the respiratory failure, 
and he also felt that he had control over his disease like he'd never had before, and he was eternally grateful for the service. We have um, quite a large number of COPD patients within our practice, and the majority of them have been identified as being suitable to receive telehealth. And this means implementing um, a home pod at home where they can answer questions about their symptoms on a day-to-day -day basis. And they can also measure their oxygen saturations daily as well. I think the system is absolutely fantastic and the staff there are brilliant. They really are brilliant. I can't rate the staff so much. The telehealth medicine um, system is absolutely fantastic. I took it away on holiday with me. And I was surprised it actually worked as well. And that was from Torquay. And I live in Portsmouth. So there's a big difference, you know, in a feral distance. With telehealth, the patients are entering their, their symptoms daily. If those symptoms are showing a decline, then the, the health professional at the end of the system will contact the patient and perhaps initiate earlier intervention by suggesting antibiotics or steroid tablets. If they are caught early, then um, this hopefully will prevent them needing to go into hospital. So, so that's a big benefit. As far as the patients are concerned, they really, really like telehealth. They feel very reassured knowing that somebody is looking at their at their symptoms daily and some, that, that somebody will contact them if things are going downhill. We need to support patients with long-term conditions to have the advantage that we now see that telehealth brings. We need to support patients who desperately want to stay in, in the community to um, have the tools such as telehealth to manage their own um, disease and to keep well in the community. We also need to support our clinician colleagues to use a tool in the toolkit that telehealth is um, to enable them to support their patients in a much more appropriate way.